Hey YouTube, it's your boy Baby F Nelson back here with another video for you guys. Another build video off the press for you. I'm just trying to cover all my bases with all my characters here. I've got showing you guys um, a various different guardians that I have set up with different builds. This one's going to be for my hunter. This is going to be the Mask of Bacchus. This is going to be a pretty cool video for you stasis hunters out there for PVE engagements. Yeah, it's got some also awesome, some really cool stuff you can do in PvP too as well. So let's get into it. And let's talk about the Mask of Bacchus build. Let's go. Yo, what is going on, guys? This video, this here is going to be a video about my ba Mask of Bacchus build. I really like this build for my hunter. It's really cool, especially for you guys that do PVE. Check this out, and we'll show, I'll show you all the stuff and what is what's really cool about it. So here's my Mask of Backers build set up. Don't mind the weapons. I've been doing a bunch of stuff on them. Don't mind it. I promise you it's not what I normally run. So <laughs> here it is. This is what makes it all work. It is the mask here, Mask of Backers. What it does is ability called Light Shift. So what it just says right there, replaces your stasis subclass dodge ability with a longer range, faster moving shift that partially cloaks you during use. After shifting, your arc weapons deal increased damage to combatants for a short time, and you deal increased damage to all slowed or frozen targets. Now that's a big one right there at the last part. You deal increased damage to all slowed and frozen targets. So what that means is when using this helmet, when using this helmet, if you were to throw something like a dust filled nade or anything of that nature and use your dodge ability um, or even if they get frozen you're going to get that damage boost from that when you use this damage build even if you do double shurikens and you freeze a target you're going to get that damage boost as well wearing this mask and it's also so very cool to pair it with a arc with arc weapons for instance <clears throat> like an I like a seven serif smg um i kills smg as well as also your anarchies. That's right, guys. This does work with the anarchy. So this is a major DPS changer and it's really good, especially for things where you're pulling out a lot of damage. Think of like your first in, last out slug shotguns on Tanix, uh, using it with this ability. That is an arc shotgun. So if that target is frozen, those slugs from that uh, slug shotgun from that first in, last out are doing increased damage on the target. So <clears throat> on this build, I run tier five mobility and resilience, tier 10 recovery, and I run uh, tier four grenade, tier six um, intellect, and also tier five on strength. The only thing I would tell you I would adjust with this build and you guys may wanna put into your builds, I typically run powerful friends with this build to give me more mobility. Um, if you don't know what powerful friends is, it's a mod that allows you to add, that basically will give your other fire team member a charge of light when you become charged as well as a bonus of 20 mobility which is huge um i would tell you i would run this build probably 100 mobility 100 recovery if i um, was to look at this again of course after that looking into trying to increase my grenade because i want my grenade and my dodge ability as fast as possible and i want that recovery for survivability always so that is something that I would probably look into when making this build. If you were making yourself, those are some improvements that you could make off of and some improvements I'm chasing myself to as well. So with this buildy, um, when your typical DPS setup with this would be, um, let's say it's, you're about to do an encounter, you would want to throw your dust fill nade um, or shoot your two anarchy onto the target, throw your dust fill nade, hit your dodge ability, and then you want to start, of course, DPSing with any arc abilities you have to do more damage or arc weapons you have to do more damage to the target. That's why Anarchy is so key with this build. That's really good. There's also something you can do to make even more damage. You can, as a stasis hunter, run focusing lens. Now, I know what you guys are going to say right away. Foc wait, wait, wait. Hold the press, Nelson. Hold on. You're not making sense, right? Focusing lens only increases you for your light abilities. Well, there's a caveat to that. If you are affected by a well and you are in a well, you are basically taking advantage of that light ability. So that will also give you an increased damage boost as well with the focusing lens stacking with the actual mask of backers buff 
when you are in a well of radiance. So do not be afraid to slap on that focusing lens for some extra bomb damage. So that is basically the layout for my mask of backers build. You wanna make sure that you do um, grind out activities like Pit of Heresy, any place that's gonna give you like high stat roll armor to try to accomplish these builds, especially when you're trying to do tier, uh, tier 10 in two different categories. You're gonna have to do a lot of stuff. I highly recommend uh, jumping over to the people over at DIM, which is Destiny Item Manager. They've got a really cool thing in there called the Loadout Optimizer, which will allow you to specify the stats that you are chasing, and it will help you also look at the gear you currently have to get as close to this as possible, or to make it the way you want it. So just a couple of tips to you guys there. But that's pretty much it for my Mask of Backers build, um, and that is pretty much what you need to know about it. Guys, it's been my absolute pleasure showing you guys my Mask of Backers build. I'm also live on Twitch pretty much every day at about 6 CST. That's about time I start. It's at twitch.tv dot twitch.tv slash babyfnelson. Make sure you pull on in, smash the subscribe and the like on this video. And if you got anybody out here that's some stasis hunters and they want to do more DPS out there, go ahead and do it. Show them what it is and show them how good it is. And don't let don't sleep on that actual light shift ability on your hunter in PvP because it is awesome. It works in there too as well. Good luck to you guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Your boy Nelson signing out. GG. Yeah.